This is a product video for Orphals Orlite 5600RA printable fleet engineer grade reflective film. And here are the details. Product name, Orlite, product number 5600RA, and this is the type of film it is. Roll widths 24, 48, and 54 inch. Roll lengths 10, 25, and 50 yards. Thickness 6 mil. Adhesive, clear solvent with rapid air technology. And here are the uses. When unpacking the Orlite 5600RA, be sure to note that the lot number is on the box, on the clear protective bag, and core tube. The following inks are compatible with 5600RA, and be sure to allow it to outcast for the required amount of time. There are three laminates that can be chosen. All are 2 mil thick, and production should note that they may be reverse wound. Note that the liner of 5600RA has a grid pattern and the Orlite logo. The adhesive is clear with rapid air technology that allows it to slide on the surface and only with pressure will it adhere. Marks may be visible on the film during install which is common with reflective films. Adding high heat to the film on the surface will in most cases self-heal the marks. Picking the film back up too quickly off the surface may cause lines to appear. These can in most cases be self-healed as well by triggering the memory effect with heat. Designers should note that darker print colors will mute the reflective properties and should be utilized as accents to lighter printed and unprinted areas for a balance in both design and reflectivity performance. When using cutting tape, note that due to the construction and thickness of Orlite 5600RA, the cutting edge may not be 100% clean. For prep, be sure to remove as much hardware as possible. Then, first use a general cleaner to remove the dirt off the surface. Open sections, like hoods and doors, when possible to focus on edges. Then give a final wipe down with Orifol pre-wrap cleaner or 70% isopropyl alcohol. Be sure to do a pre-inspection to look for pre-existing damage. Document this on a form and with pictures. For install, since it's a commercial print wrap, be sure to check the alignment of the graphics first. Using a dry erase marker is a good reference point for the installer. Make a temporary hinge with either magnets, masking tape, or by cutting away a section of the liner. Lock the panel in place, and keeping the liner on, apply the film with overlapping squeegee strokes from side to side. For curved sections, make enclosed relief cuts so the film doesn't split when it's transitioned from the flat to the curved area. Warm the film first, then feed the film to the edge in order to keep the finish uniform. Self-heal any squeegee strokes with high heat, and now it's time to cut. Relax the edges with heat first. Click the blade so it's sharp. Then flush cut all corners first. Avoid overwrapping corners due to the thickness of the film. If cutting directly on the edge of a section, angle the blade in so the film cuts directly to the top edge. Or the film can be cut on the opposite side, which is called the solid side, then formed around the edge with soft heat and a squeegee or finger. For big panels, remove the excess film first with the liner on. Make a horizontal backing paper cut on a body line that is on the 50-50 point. Once this is made, use dry erase marker registration points for easy reference to keep the panel aligned. It's recommended to use two installers to help remove the liner and install the film. Set up a permanent hinge on the middle of the body, and once the film is locked in position, work in stages and keep the liner on. Feed any moderate recessed areas, then work evenly from top to bottom. Use heat to relax the film when needed so it won't wrinkle or distort. For door handle cups, warm the film up first, then form it in with an Orifil wrap glove. For wheel wells, flush cut the 5600RA to the top edge to ensure long-term hold. For body lines, be sure to make relief cuts and fold the film. This is again due to the thickness of the film and it will help create a professional result that will last for the long term. Always apply the bottom first so the overlap faces down. For back bumpers, be sure to apply the top area in two pieces. Create a hinge in the middle of the bumper 
then pull the film evenly around the curve using the triangle technique. In order to preserve a uniform reflective finish, use two to three installers to keep it from overstretching. Using a pod steamer is a great tip as it can warm the film softly yet thoroughly to form it on. Be sure to use the tuck and cut method for raised objects like the molding at the bottom of the bumper. Tucking the film in, then sealing the deal is a long-term durability. For the top section, warm and form the film to the cutting tape. Then release it in the standard manner. For mirrors, be sure to avoid distortion when stretching. A good way to do this is work with two installers to help spread the tension out evenly. Here, trim line tape was laid down on the mirror so the installer can cut the excess film away cleanly with a knife. Also, note that mirrors should be wrapped in two to three pieces based on the shape and angles with the back piece holding any stretch from the main piece. Overlap should be between a quarter and a half inch wide. For open-sided recessed areas, Orlite 5600RA should be fed into the gap when possible to ensure long-term hold. Be sure to work in even stages. For deep recessed areas with enclosed sections that are commonly found on vans, it's important to follow this protocol. Release the entire liner around the recessed area and bridge the film over the gap with even tension. Once set, squeegee the flat section in the recessed area to hold the film in place. Put on an Orful wrap glove and wet if necessary. Then apply generous heat to the film in order to soften it. Then form the film in to the deepest part first. Be sure to keep the film warm during this process. Once a run is formed in, squeegee the flat section down. And always be sure to work the air out towards an open side. It is important to work the Orlite 5600RA in manageable stages in order to keep the level of the heat in the film. If needed, make sure the glove has enough moisture so it can glide easily along the film. If done correctly, there will be minimal distortion in the print as well as in the reflective finish. Now we get to post install and due to the thickness of Orlite 5600RA, more areas will need to be post heated than with standard wrap film. Focus on all edges and curves, and be sure that the temperature is between 230 and 248 degrees Fahrenheit. Using a IR thermometer is the only way to ensure this. Also, put extra focus on post heating deep recessed areas to ensure long-term hold. For all rocker panels and underneath the front and back bumpers, apply edge seal tape, half on the wrap film and half on the paint. And on wheel well areas, apply a coat of liquid edge seal. Reinstall any hardware, and lastly, remove any scratches from the squeegee strokes with a pod steamer or propane torch. Be sure to apply a coat of Orifil aftercare product to the wrap. This should be done with a soft microfiber towel. It helps protect the wrap and gives it a nice client-ready finish. Note that in order to reach maximum adhesion, it may take up to 72 hours if the temperature is above 50 degrees Fahrenheit and always remove the graphics within warranty. For removals, let the vehicle acclimate to between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit, then applying heat when needed, it will leave minimal adhesive residue behind. For more information, you can go to orful.com. Here you can search for 5600 RA and you'll be taken to this dedicated page, which includes more information, as well as technical data sheets and product bulletins. Also on orful.com, you can find links to trainings that include free webinars and hands-on workshop as well as certification program. You can also follow Orful on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. This has been a product video for Orful's Orlite 5600RA, proudly produced by the Rep Institute.